Hey everybody, how are you doing today? Man, my hair looks crazy. I was supposed to dye it today and I got on a call. I could not get off and I just didn't have time all day to get in the shower and do my hair. So sorry about that. Anyway, let's see who's here. There's Amy Powers. I saw her on another video today. Hey, Amy. And Elizabeth, Lolly, Dorothy. Oh, you're having technical issues talking about different stuff. That's good. Amy and Elizabeth. Uh, there's Glum. Hi. I said Charlotta, right? Kathy, Lisa, Diane. Who else is here? Karen Gartland. There's Teresita making dinner. Hi, Lynn. All right, who else? There's Belinda. Hey, Belinda. I like your little uh, picture with your pink hair. That's you. There's Leslie. All right, Laura, Claire, Brenda, Julie. There's always tomorrow to do hair. <laughs> hey, Lolly. All right, you cook your dinner. All right, um, Karen Rogers, good to see you. All right, I think I got everybody. <laughs> Good to know you're all here. I have a fun project today. This is one that I did a while ago and I haven't done it in a while. And um, Winnipeg. Hi, Julie from Winnipeg. My good friend Lorene is there. Um, she's in Victoria Beach. Homemade meatballs and spaghetti. Maybe that's what I'll have for dinner. I am so cold. I turned the heat up to 71. I could not get warm today. Winnipeggers, that's a good name. All right. We're going to use a product I haven't used in a while, but it's really good. It's the foam adhesive. It's nice and sturdy. It will all be over. Teresita's cooking. All right. We're going to use this dye, the journal, because I had it out, and it's like, I need to make another one of them. And we're going to use foam adhesive. And then, remember these? I picked them up for a dollar. Aren't they pretty? Look at this hand stitching. I mean, maybe you guys have some that you found in a thrift store. Maybe there's a hole in it. You can't really use it, you know. Uh, Hub wants you to go to D.C., well, Lisa, that's close to me. Hey, Lois Heisey, good to see you. There's Lisa. Okay, I bet you do, Lisa Hole. Yes, I've seen, you know. I have a lot too, and I want to use them. So it's the choice of do I cut them up and use them and use the books that you're going to make out of them, or do you leave them in the drawer where your kids are not going to care? Honestly, my kids are not going to care. So I would rather make a journal, use it now, enjoy it now. And then even if I have it on the shelf and I can look at it later, that's fine with me. All right. So what I want to do is we'll do that for a project. But then I just wanted to um, kind of go over my schedule again with you guys. Because you might want to go to some of these events. A lot of them are virtual, which means... No matter where you live, you can go to this. And if it's a, like a weird time for you, you can watch it later. Sorry, I had a cold over the weekend and I lost my voice. I was supposed to make all these videos. <laughs> it was like croaking. I sounded horrible. Um, also, I wanted to tell Lydia Pennicott, she did a little adorable doll trunk. And she gave credit to Amy Powers, who was in our group, who uh, did the original, and she did a great job. It, um, I mean, I don't want to say it almost made me want to do one for Nora and Catherine. It did make me want to, but I wouldn't want to give it to them. I want to keep it. But I have the one from Amy, which I will return to her, because she might miss her little Chelsea doll. <laughs> anyway. I am going way off track, but I did want to say congratulations to Lydia. Great job. And thanks to all who are posting your projects in the fan club. You get us all excited about what you're making and it makes you, um, it, you know, it inspires all of us. There's Jane. Hey, Jane. Good to see you. Hi, Sue from Australia. Oh, good. You saw it, Amy. 
Okay, my fabric behind my counter reminds me of Grandma's Kitchen. Yeah, this is something new. This was that sheet that I got in the store in upstate New York. I loved it. It reminds me of sheets that we had when we were kids. So anyway, um, just so you know, all right? And I do have some little banner things here. Let me see if I can give you the links. All right, so the first thing is we're having a release party on Friday, so make sure you come to that. And some of you did see the one that Stacy did. Ours is going to be completely different because everybody sees a different thing. And so, you know, she didn't show everything, and uh, we have a lot of new new projects. We're also going to have the team on to share what they're working on, what they've been working on. Uh, with projects that maybe haven't gotten to me yet or they're, you know, they're using them or whatever. So we'll have some of the team on. That's at noon Eastern on Friday, March 1st. Can you believe it's March? Um, okay, so let's see. I didn't put a little thing up about that, but that's going to be either on Instagram, YouTube, or Facebook. You can watch it. I'm going to be streaming to all of them. Also, hi, uh, Instagram folks. Good to see you. Sorry, I can't see your comments because they don't show up in my feed here. I'm on YouTube and Facebook and, and Instagram is like a new platform. So they haven't figured out how to put it all together. So anyway, thank you for watching if you're over there. Sorry. Um, okay, the next thing that's happening, and this is kind of why I changed it. We were going to have the release party on next Tuesday. We usually do it on the same day as a live but I knew I had May May's event on Wednesday, and so I need to get ready for that. So we moved it around. So hope you guys can make it. If not, you can always watch on the replay. Okay? So we have May May's uh, Scrap Acropolis. That is going to be so much fun <laughs> because we're working with scraps. And I don't know about you, but I have boxes of scraps. So I'm going to be teaching a class and then they're having this thing called the scrappy go round. And that's where there are 15 minute projects. There's nine of them. So you can go over and check that out on May May's page and uh, see if you maybe want to go to that. It's really going to be fun. There's a lot of people going to be on and it's May May, um, Shannon, me and Brenda, who you might've met when I did a live when I was down there, but Anyway, they're really great teachers, and I'm hoping I can keep up with them, not mess up. Uh, I also have a trip out to Frank Garcia Studio in California. That's going to be the beginning of April, and I'll be posting more information about that because we're working out some details still. Um, and then in April 18th to the 21st, I'm going down to Texas, and we're doing the Bellicon 2024. That was so much fun last time, guys. You will love this event. Um, if you want to get kits, you better get in there quick because uh, they have a nice swag bag. So if you sign up for it, you that includes the swag and the shipping. So it, it is a great deal. So if you want to go to that, go ahead. Um, what? Else? Oh, I did do a thing about the release party and I didn't even know it. Okay, there we go. All right. What else? Oh, and I had Frank Garcia's too. Okay. So you'd have to look that up. My computer is blocking everything. All right. Anyway, that's enough of that. But then we do have a couple other events, which is coming up two months from Friday. I am going to be leaving for the UK and we're doing the road show, the UK road show. So there's three stores where I'm going to be teaching there. I'll be at um, Country View Crafts. I'll be at Art with the Heart, which is um, Diane Reevely's son. Ben runs that store. And then I'm going to be at Dizzy Bird Crafts. I'm also going to be making a trip to the, um, the headquarters, which I haven't been to before. So maybe I can do some uh, sneak peeks and show you what it looks like there. I'm also going to be going on Hobby Maker and Craft Stash. So it is going to be so busy. And my husband is going to kill me because he's like, don't load up every day with stuff to do because I want to see what's going on. <laughs> I'm like, uh -uh. Well, you know, he can look. He He's not going to want to go to the classes. Uh, oh, if you want kids. No, if you want kids. Hey, Christy. 
Yes, the release party is this Friday, March 1st at noon. Thank you, Glum. Yes. Oh, you're at Dizzy Bird Crafts. Great, Carol. I can't wait to meet you. Okay, that's going to be fun. I'm getting those classes done. And that's the thing, guys. This is a uh, crazy time. I've just sent in my, my, my designs. All of them got submitted last night. I was up. <laughs> it's just crazy. Um, are kits for Bellicon available yet? I don't think they're available yet. I'm not sure. I have to do more information. I don't want to say stuff and then it's wrong, guys. So I will get you the right information. Okay. All right. Any other questions about classes? Hey, Jen, how are you? All right. There's no live on Thursday. I am not sure. No, there is a live. Oh, geez. Thank you, Glum. We have a special guest. Thank God. <laughs> Lolly is going to be on. I think, I'm not sure if she's in the chat here. She was. Hey, Stacy. Uh, there is a live, and we are going to be talking about creativation. And Lolly is going to show us. She did this really cute little um, sewing box. So she's going to give some tips that she found about that and share them with us. And then we're going to talk about creativation. Then I'm not going to do a project, though, on Thursday. We're just going to talk. And then on Friday, I'll do the release party. But I'm going to be getting ready. So, okay. Ay, ay, ay. This is too much for my little brain. Okay. Yes, Lolly is coming on. There she is. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Lolly. You're saving my butt. <laughs> she is so good. You guys need to follow her YouTube channel, Lolly Palooza. She gives so many good tips. She has tons of subscribers. She is the master. So go ahead. We should have a calendar in the group if I could figure out how to do one. Um, yeah, I don't know. Well, it's good you're here, Jen. Yeah, we're happy to see you live. Okay, so let me, I even have this on here. Special guest, Lolly on Thursday, which I <laughs> didn't say. All right. Now, there are a couple other things coming up, and one of them we're going to announce soon. In fact, we're probably going to do a live. There are three people doing the uh, the live together. So I'm going to talk about that on the live, but something coming soon. And also there's another retreat I'm doing out in California, the Society of Wildflowers Conference. That is going to be so amazing. It's going to be on the beach. Ah, I can't wait. So that's the middle of July. So lots going on here, guys. I just have to get all the projects done that I have to teach. And everybody wants instructions and all of that. Come on. Okay. Yes, it is hard to set it all up, Lolly. So maybe Lolly can organize me a little. Anyway, all right. I am going to um, turn camera down unless anybody has any questions, anything. I know. Amy, I did it to myself. It's like, you know, I hardly did much last year well we had mom and we were you know trying to get her settled and so then I was like no this year I'm just gonna go do stuff and then got a little crazy what can I say but it is fun yes it is a lot more than it meets the eye you know you have to design the projects you got to get the tools to be where you're gonna be and ship everything and Etsy pre-order yes I found out about it uh Leslie I'm going, to, I'm pretty sure they're the earliest they can ship to me is March 1st, which is Friday. So I'm going to list it as a pre-order. It should get to me by the next Friday and then I will ship right away. So um, thanks for asking about that. I will be posting it in the group. I'll probably post it the day of the live or maybe the night before. So if anyone's interested, I think I, I think I ordered like I'm not sure how many, maybe 30 sets. So if you're interested in the pre-order, you're going to get a little break on the price and you're going to get free shipping in the U.S. So if you'd like that, uh, just let me know. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Jeez, it takes a village here. Okay. I am going to pull this camera down here. And... Here we go. Well, look at that. And it's staying where it's supposed to go. That's a miracle. Okay, so this is what we're going to use. 
And I'm going to ask you which guy, which one, um, the, uh, sorry, her YouTube is Lolly Palooza. Right, Lolly? Could you list that in there maybe, Lolly? Okay. Should I do the yellow one or the blue one? The yellow one is a little heavier, and I think it, I don't know if that one's going to hold up better. It's not as, I don't know. This one is just so pretty, though, and I love that pattern. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Glum. The yellow one? Okay, yell out what you want. Hey, Marianne Murray. There's a retired person. Good for you. Yellow, blue, yellow, yellow. Oh, uh -oh I can't count. All right, somebody tell me which one wins. It looks like more yellow. Okay. All right, I'm thinking yellow. I know Michelle and Charlotta said blue. I do love that pink. And But you know what? We can do another project with it. And let me show you. All right, now I'm seeing a lot of blues. Let me show you some other things that I've done before and then more can come in here and register <laughs> this is another one that i did this was with a die called the notebook and this one i just thought was so pretty and i'm glad i did it you know i think i added this and then inside i used some other lace or maybe that might have been the rest of the towel yeah i think it was and then I made this like little accordion, I think it's an accordion, you know, like a little booklet to go inside. And that was kind of fun too. That might've been a couple videos. That has a little pocket. So, oh my, maybe I, I don't know what I did there. Anyway, it was fun to make it. So I think this is really pretty. You can see it looks like a thread back there. So things do show up underneath both lenses. <laughs> and then this was a fun little closure, and I think I may repeat it on this one if I get that far. So what I did was I just tied, uh, I, I poked a hole and stuck my button through, and then I tied that on and threaded it through, and then I you know, have this as like the little closure that this just wraps around. And this was a fun, it reminded me of like a little ball of yarn and it's pretty heavy. So it kind of weights it. So I just, I love this one. So that's one. Here's one I did for like Father's Day. And this is just a plain, like a tweed. And I'm using the same die for this. And I think I put some texture roll on the back because it was a little floppy. So that's the thing. You're going to have to figure out, do you want to back it? And what I'm using today is going to be a foam adhesive, and then I'm going to put paper, or not paper, I'm going to put cloth on the other side. So that should be strong enough. And this one is kind of a cool closure too. I just did a knot and a knot, and then it loops over. Because like on here, I'm not going to want to cover up with like a band coming across or anything. I, you know, I just want something thin so I can really enjoy my stitching. And then this was like a pair of jeans and I cut it up and there's like four little pockets in here. So you can put that, you could put like, I mean, this would be cute for a little kid, a little girl or boy, and just poke a couple holes and a grommet and, you know, make a little strap for it. I think that would be really cute. And they could have four little sections to put their poly pockets or their little trucks or Hot Wheels in there, you know. So fabric is a lot of fun. And I feel like I don't do a lot of it sometimes. So this is another one that I made. And I really liked using it. And this is what we're going to do today. Okay, so this is what it feels like. It's a flexible cover. So this is just fabric that I really liked. And this, hmm, I think this had like a, a different kind of closure. I don't know what I did with it though. And then I made a little tassel out of fleece. That's kind of wimpy, but um, then I just made my own notebooks and I use that for my Facebook Live ideas, all kinds of stuff, April 2017. So it's been a while, but I could take these books out. I should look through these again because <laughs> I might run out of ideas. 
So these are uh, just bound like a traveler's notebook. So you can take them in and out as you want. And that is a nice benefit of using this kind of binding. So that's what I'm going to do here too. This one is kind of like a little, little junk journal. Oh, look at that little chipmunk. I think this was a golden book that I cut up and used these for pockets and just threw in a bunch of little things that I had. It was fun. Look at those little chicks. This is some embossed paper that I messed up, but I didn't want to get rid of it. So anyway, you can put whatever you want in here. And that's just another one I made. So, you know, this looks like a little tag. They're just fun. So that was kind of what I had in mind making uh, today. Hey, there's Jen White. Good to see you, Jen. All right. So did we decide what color? <laughs> I'm afraid to ask. All right. Well, let's prepare our, our material. Hey, D. Bartlett. Yes, I don't know. Maybe I'll just do whatever's closer. <laughs> All right. So here is our foam adhesive. And what I did was I just cut. This is going to be the backing. So I don't even know if I folded this. I'm just going to kind of get something going right there. And I'm just going to rip this. It's really fun to rip. Hi, Linda Cooper. Follow my heart. Yellow, yellow. Hey, Betty's Bungalow. All right, I see a couple of yellows. That seemed to be the consensus. All right. So there's one. Here's the other one. So let's do these first because then we have to think about how we want to cut down our, our stitched piece. And you kind of do want to think about that. So now if there are wrinkles in here, don't worry about that because they will kind of stretch out. You can, what I do is I kind of, let's go this way. All right, this is sticky. So I take this in the middle and fold it into the middle and set that down about halfway and kind of press it out and then just, My nails look horrible. I'm a mess, guys. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So see how those wrinkles came out? They don't bother me anyway. The yellow is a promise of spring. Okay, you got me. Uh, one thing I would say, though, is just try not to get any little strings under here because you will see them. All right, so let's do this one. All right. Charlotta says, follow my heart. I will do that. I can't, I can't make a decision, guys. There's so many things that I've had to decide in the last couple days. What dyes do I want to use? How do I want to teach that? What colors? What inks? All right, now that one I just plopped down. Let's see what happens. That one doesn't look bad. I think this has a little bit left over uh, on the edge, though, and I don't like to have leftover adhesive sticking out. See how easily that came off though? It will stick though. Once we run it through, that's going to kind of smush everything together. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry. This is a lot more forgiving than paper. I will tell you that. Okay. Don't follow your heart. It will be blue. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. So one is going to be the front and one's going to be the back. So let's look at this here. All right. I want to include that. I really like that little hem stitch detail. So I'm going to be cutting away some of these pieces, but I think I can use them somewhere else in my project. So I think this looks pretty good. And I don't really need to have the attachment things be also done um, in the cloth, but if it happens to cut it, that's all right. It's 
not all going to fit. This is 12 inch and our die, actually our die is probably close to that. So we might be fine. All right, never mind. Okay, now this has some strings under it. You didn't see that, but I, I removed it. And you can fiddle with this really easily. All right, now I'm just going to kind of roll this. And then we can lay it down and try to center it and then work out from the middle. Uh, are you using the regular adhesive or foam adhesive? This is the foam adhesive, Jen. Yeah, because I want it to have a little body. All right, don't put that under there. All right, once you get it kind of how you like it. But see how it has these, these lines from this... See, I, I don't like when they they start stuff and then you can't get that thing out. But you have to just press press it out. So try to keep it with the grain of the fabric if you can, but if you can't, no big deal. You can cover this with lace. You can put all kinds of stuff on here. All right, see how you've also got that there. I'm just going to lift that up and kind of press it out with my fingers. And there we go. Look at that. Okay. That looks pretty good, I think. All right. Now we're going to need that for the back. So what I might do is turn, I'll trim that off. Get my good scissors here. And this should be plenty wide for our back piece. It's going to be going a, di a different direction, but that's all right. And I am going to trim these because I think I can use these for like pockets somewhere or decorations on inside the book. And you don't want too much sticking over the edge because it kind of sticks. If you're using a Big Shot Pro, that won't matter. But if you're on your Big Shot, this stuff kind of gets collected when you roll it through. So just kind of keep that in mind. All right. So we have little fuzzy things everywhere. Okay. So we're good to go there. I think that looks pretty straight. You could play with this forever. That one little thing there is getting on my nerves. Okay. Use the stitch seam. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to do that. And hopefully that will come up in the, you know, when we cut it. You never know. All right. This is not exactly with the grain. But it's the inside. I'm not going to worry about that. Have you guys noticed, I don't really worry too much about craft projects. It's like, I just don't worry about it. It comes out how it comes out. I'm still going to like it if it's a little bit off. But I get it if you want it to be perfect. That is okay. All right, now, let's see. Let's look at our die. We might have to think about this. If I want this showing, this piece here... I don't know, Lolly. This could go a number of ways. All right, so if we want this to show, we have to look. Now, remember how we lay this out. When the pattern is facing this way, that's going to be our front. Then we turn it, so this will be the back. So over here is the back binding, so that means I want to turn this. Now, it's not going to matter because... Well, it might matter. As long as we get it going on the front and the back right, then we should be good because we could turn this. But I think it should be this way. I don't know, guys. We'll see. It'll be a surprise. <laughs> All right. Now, this is a little flimsier. It doesn't have the, the embroidery on it to kind of give it a shape. So it's a little floppier, but that's all right. 
wonder if I had like a little, oh, wait a minute, maybe I can use this. It's nice that you can reposition. Oh, and there's a little string. All right, glad I got that out. All right, this is good. So get something to kind of press it down if you can. All right. You could take a lot of time on this. You could iron it ahead of time, but it's fine. We know that it came from vintage linen, so I'm good with that. All right, so when we lay this on here, we're going to flip it so it's like this. This is going to be the inside of the book. This will be the outside, all right? So we can see this is the edge here, so that should be right. So I am going to go ahead and just make sure that this line is contained within here, all right? So we'll see what happens. I think that's right. Let me get my cutting pads and my big shot. Are those sizzle foam adhesives? No, these are from uh, Thermoweb. They're my my uh, you know name brand one, whatever, whatever you call that. Licensed? I don't know. Whatever it is. Um, they may have them in other places, but these are 12 inches. Okay. I don't think I shifted that, so I'm going to go ahead and cut. But see how things are collecting here? So try not to have too much. It's not a problem, though. Hey, Erin Reed. I think I am going to back that up just because, I don't know, make sure it cuts. Sometimes when you cut fabric, it sticks like the, um, doesn't get every fiber. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, we went a little off, but that's all right. That's fine. And then we did get these other pieces, too. These are kind of nice. That would be a nice little pen loop, actually. And that's a nice little label. Oh, and that got that in there. Okay. And this is like a little tab. So we got the actual linen, so I'm good with that. All right, so let's do the other one. Now, it did stick a little bit, but that's okay. It's not like... A, you know, really sticky. All right, now we have our back, so we want to do our front. Oops, wait a minute. Let me make sure I get this right. All right, so we want the front going this way. So here's my design. I want this to be at the base of my journal. So I'm going to turn that over and just kind of distribute the pattern maybe over that way a little bit and just make sure that you're, you know, covering this edge here. And I think we're going to get this in there too, which I want. So that's good. And one thing you might wonder, is this going to fray? It could. It depends on how your fabric is. I, you just never know. So you can go ahead and get some fray check and you can take that around the edges or you can just let it fray and it's still kind of pretty. All right. Thank you, Glum, for listing. Okay, these are the, these are not the easy cut, these are the foam, I hope they're um, in my shop. I'll have to check and make sure. Some, I'm, I may not have renewed them lately, who knows. Okay, there's a half a label, but that would be kind of cool too. All right, looks like we're in business. Okay, so just, oh, look at that. Perfect. Okay, here's our spine. That's good. Now, what I might do, I'm not going to do it now, but I might just, when I put these together, I might run a couple stitches down here just to make sure that it stays together. I'm trying to think if I did that with this one. Um, yeah, I did. I did some stitches. You can't even see them, but. I feel like it does keep that together a little better than just the adhesive would. So um, you can do everything and get it done and then run your stitches, you know, stitch it up later. That's going to be so pretty. I kind of wish I had done that better, but it's okay. 
I still like it. All right, so that is that. All right. Now, we have to think about what the best way to put this together is. And we know that once we put our elastic in here, that's going to be like our double bind. Um, so we could... I could use some red line tape or I could use some wet glue. I think I'm going to do the glue. What do you guys think? <laughs> All right, this thing is going to kill me. But I did, um, Vic told me to turn my little thing around because it kept flopping when I was working with it. And she said, turn the ring around so it doesn't go that direction. And I did. And it's she was right. All right. I'm not sure if this is going to stick too well. I probably should try like a Fabri-Tac. Maybe that would be better. I have zip dry. That does dry fast. Mm. What do you guys think for glue? You'd use Fabri-Tac, but it takes a while to dry. Okay. You would do the glue. All right, let's do that. All right, so we want to think about how we're going to put this together. I don't know if you can see these holes, but let's poke them out. So what I do is I wrap my front cover around, and that's just me. You don't have to do that, but I like how that looks. That I'm going to leave because I don't know if I'm going to use my middle hole there. And why not just leave it in if we're going to not use it. And I'm going to leave that one too. All right. This makes it easier for us to match up these holes. That one's kind of bulky, so that one's not wanting to come out. That's all right. Yes, I, I do. I am going to glum. I'm going to sew it after. I don't have my machine right on hand here. So I will take this through the machine like my other one just to make sure. Because it doesn't stick as well on fabric, you know, like it would on paper or like mat board. So I just want to make sure it's going to stay together. So I will do that after. All right, so I am going to put my front cover on my back cover. So it's being temperamental. Uh, what you said. <laughs> oh, come on. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> you have a couple packages. Oh, thanks, Jen. All right, let's load this up pretty well. And then I want to show you how I lace mine up. There are so many ways you can do it, but I just want to show you how I do. In case somebody never saw this one before, this is in the Essentials catalog at Sizzix. So this is a die that's going to be around for a while. It's like a standard traveler's notebook size, and that's what I like about it. And I also, oh good, I can show you these while the glue dries. Um, I found some little books that I had. So you can either make your own, because I did in my journal that I showed you. I made my own, but you can buy them too on Amazon because they're, it's called a Midori or a Traveler's Notebook, and it's a standard size. So they make them, and you don't have to mess with it. All right, let's hope I can do this because I can't really see. Oops, that one. I can't see with my head exactly over this. You guys might have to help me line it up. My sweet petunia glue gun, I have it, but I have to reload it. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm nervous to do it. I do love it, but I like the little one too. All right, why is that? Oh. All right, so make sure you get these little holes poked out first because this really is how I line it up. Oh, 
Oh, there's another one. They're everywhere. Okay, good. All right, so I would put this under a couple books or dies and let that dry. And then let me show you these other little things that you can put inside your notebook, okay? So toothpicks. Just got your Google Press, but you haven't used it yet. That lady has a way of scaring me out of using what I get from her. <laughs> okay, these came from the Dollar Tree. I like them, except these are really big squares, and I don't usually do the bullet method, bullet journaling method, but, you know, they were probably a couple, two for a dollar or something. They came like a set, so, you know, they have a nice cover, so... That's something. I don't know if they have them currently. They did at one point. These were, I think I got these at Michael's. And what you do, it's nice because it's got this little zipper pocket that you can put all kinds of like receipts or whatever you want in there. And I like that it's clear. Oh, a skewer helps me line the holes up. That's a great idea. <laughs> Fire and brimstone. <laughs> Blum. And these, you could fit little doodads or cards or whatever. Business cards would fit in there. This one looks a little misshapen. So I might iron that or give that a blast with the heat gun because the fold is supposed to be here, but it's not. And this is nice. It's got the little groove so that when you put the elastic over it, it kind of settles it right in there. So this is something you could do. This was one that I got at, uh, I think this was at Daiso, or maybe Muji. I didn't open it, though, but it's the same idea. You know, you just slip it under the um, binding. That's another one of those. This is one that I got at Michael's. I think I got them when they were on sale, but I'm not sure. But they come in either, like, Oh, that's nice. Look at that one. That's like a little date book. Wow. That's cool. I might have to use that because I thought they were like this because I love the grid. But you can make your own of those. That's really easy. Anyway, that, I don't know if they're all the same or what. But anyway, these are a couple that I picked up on sale. So because you use them more than one, if you're going to keep that journal, You'll be taking things in and out. So anyway, let I just thought we, we can put these in there when we get to that. Okay. So let's just do our elastic. It seems like I think we can do it while this is drying. So this is going to bend. And I don't know if you can see in here. But here is our crease. Oh, look at that. I missed a little bit up there. I'm going to put a row of lace. I'll just glue that up there. This is going to be like a little junk journal. I'm not worried about this one. All right, so it would just fold there and here. So when you stitch it, if you stitch it, you know, I would just go around here and down just a little row of white in like a long rectangle, and that will keep it all together. I think that is so pretty. Oh, I love it. All right, so let's do the binding. So what you're going to do, let's see. This one is just going to go in a rectangle. Now, I could have, yeah, this is good. I could have made that a little different, but I, I like how this is. All right, so I'm just going to measure two things of this and then give a little extra. So this is so easy. We're just going to start here, put our elastic in, and actually you can do this however you want. If you want your knot like on this side or that side, doesn't matter. Let's do the knot on the back one for now. Usually I do it on the front. And then this is where I use my bamboo skewer, as Jen said, to kind of poke through and if you need help poking this through, you can just kind of poke, poke. I don't know why that's not going. Thought I got all the holes out. 
What the heck? Always surprises everywhere you go. <laughs> All right, come on, guys. What's going on here? All right, seems like it should go. There we go. Okay. So this we're going to put through here. All right. Now the th tricky thing about this is not making it too tight because what happens is if you do, this is going to fold in. It's going to want to do that. And I don't like that. I mean, you might like it. Not a, a little bit is okay, but too much. I don't like that. So I'm just going to do a little bit of pull there. Might have to tighten that up a little bit. All right, it looks bad now, but it will relax a little. And once you get your books in, it's going to be fine. I really haven't done one of these in so long. All right, that will lay flat once you get something in there. But again, I don't tighten these too much until I get my books in, and then I see if I need to make it a little looser, I can still do that. Okay. Let's see. What do we want to put in here? All right. So all we're going to do is we have two strings. So I'm going to take my little journal, and this will be one that either you make or one that you buy. And see how it's giving it shape? Now it's laying flat because there's a weight on it. All right. And then this is that wonky one. Let me see if this one's better. No, not really. All right. This needs some training, but that's okay. See, that needs to go like that. I wonder if I, I'm not going to try running that through the big shot and see if that will press it down. Lurking in the background. Hi, Darlene Henry. How are you? The glue press says you can't use it with certain glues. All right. Where is my... Let me get my platform. I'm going to try this. I don't know if it'll work. It's worth a shot. I want to squish this. Now see, it's got that. I don't know. That might not be good. That might break the, the plastic. Hmm. Maybe if I just do this one. This one is softer. too soft, but let's try two of these. Mm, I don't know. I think if I heated it and then did it, I've been very busy. That's all right, Darlene. We all get like that. Well, maybe it did it a little. Anyway, that's, that's a random thing. All right. Well, basically, we have our book done. So I think this is really cute. But you can see all the different things you can do with this. Now that one looks a little wide, doesn't it? All right. Well, you could always trim it down. I don't really like things sticking out too much. So I might just take this, put it on my little thing here, and just take my craft knife, the blade, go to town. You've got a couple blue napkins that your mom embroidered when she was young. Oh, that would be so pretty, Lisa. What a nice memory, you know? That's the thing about it. What happens to all these things? I, I, that just makes me sad, you know? All right, now the other thing is, let's see. Let me find my scrap lace. Just a couple little bins of lace because I want to cover that up. That might be cute. Well, it seems to be just the right length. Hmm. It doesn't cover everything, but... Oh, that's cute. All right. So you can see there's lots of things you can do to embellish this. Don't just stop with the piece, you know, let it be part of today, you know, 
Now see, this does look kind of wimpy, doesn't it? So I might tighten that again. Let me just do this lace because I think that's going to be pretty. I'm trying to do more of getting things finished, guys. It's hard. But I don't like having half done things and then they never leave my desk because I'm always like, I need to finish that. I know some of you can relate, but <laughs> some of you are got your stuff together. <laughs> Not that you don't, if you don't finish. I think it's part of my personality. I can't help it. It's like I'm always at the last deadline to get stuff done. It drives me crazy, but that's when I get excited to get it done, you know, because I have to. <laughs> I don't have a choice. There's so many decisions to make that I can't do it. When there's pressure, I have to do it because it's got to get done. And I probably drive people crazy, but I know I drive my husband crazy because he is the total opposite of me. But he signed up for it. He knew. All right, let's see. These get a little twisted sometimes, so I'm just trying to even them out here. I don't think there's a front or back, but it's just want them to lay flat. I think these are cute. So I'm sure you guys have lace laying around. If you have some of these little books, do do your version and put them up in the fan club because I want to see. And not just me, everybody would want to see. I try to stop and start it with a full one, but that's okay. Sometimes you can stretch them. Even if that's peeking out over the top, I don't mind that. Let's see. No, they're all pretty much in there. All right, that's actually sticking pretty well, too. And I'm, I wasn't sure because this uh, fabric is kind of weird. I don't know what it is. My sister said it was raw silk, but she gave me, like, yards of it. I think somebody, one of her friends bought it for curtains and then... They didn't use it, and it was huge when I got it, and I've been using it up on a lot of projects. All right, Charlotta Relate. Write elastic strap to see if notebook fits better. Write elastic strap. This one? Oh, yeah, it might fit better down there. Oh, I don't know. That's really close to the edge. Let's see if this one might fit better. They look about the same. That's all right. That's cute. I don't know. What do you think I should? I don't know. I don't know why I want to do that, but something in me wants to do. I'm going to trim this off, but I, I'm going to put this somewhere. I think that's adorable. All right. What else? Uh, that's a piece of quilt. Now that's another one. I couldn't find it, but I had, I got an old quilt the other day when I was in New York. Oh, this is what happened. I didn't tighten it. Okay. That's why it's looser. But th that would be another thing that you could use is like an old quilt top. And I did get one that had a lot of holes, a lot of holes. So I think I showed you it was blue and white. All right, I am going to tighten this. Okay. That'll lay flat. That's not horribly too much. All right. Anyway, that's what I wanted to do, guys. It's looking good. Raw silk is great for painting on. You know, it did not accept paint. That's what makes me think it's not silk. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Anyway, it's... It's a nice lining, though. I think it's it's good. It's sturdy, you know. All right, guys. Well, that is what I have today. So give it a try if you happen to have some old linens. And make sure to put it in the fan club. Check out the blog. We're going to have a new post probably tomorrow or Thursday. And then Friday, we have our release party. Don't forget that. Come and see, join in the thing, bring a nice little beverage with you, sit down and enjoy the time. We're going to have a good, 
good little visit. Okay. And what else is going on? Uh, I don't know. I think that's it. That's enough. I have too many things in my brain already. Okay. <laughs> Thanks guys for coming and for everything, all of your support, your nice words, your, your everything. You guys are great. So thank you very much. We'll see you on Thursday. And hey, Wendy Husky, how are you? Uh, Wendy sent me a big thing of fabric. And I did do something with that, too. I like to collect fabric. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do as a closure, but that's okay. I think we have a good start. And I am going to be working on this. And I am going to stitch down right around here so we have a stable binding. Okay? That's all I know right now. All right. Well, we'll see you guys on Thursday. All right. Take it easy. Have a great rest of the week. See you soon. Bye.